Benvenuti, I'm Giulia Ferrari and welcome to Regional Italian Cuisine. On this program, I'm going to take you on a tour of Sardinia, eating its food and drinking its wine. Sardinia is the second largest island on the Mediterranean and it prides itself on its seductive landscapes and magnificent turquoise seas. On this program, we are going to meet a colourful character from Sardinia, Stefano Rassou. Let's meet him now. So we're here at Pomodoro Pizza Restaurant in the middle of Lonsdale Street, Melbourne, with its owner, Stefano Rassou. Ciao, Stefano. Ciao. Come stai? Very well. Good. <laughs> so you're from Arizzo in Sardinia, yes. from a family who own hotels. Yes. Tell us about your life in Sardinia before you moved to Melbourne. What mm. were you doing? It's a really long story, but <laughs> I'm going to tell you just... We don't have long. <laughs> <laughs> um, I've been training for my two uncle in the resort in in. Arizzo, in the middle of Sardinia, it's a beautiful place to be. Um, start from scratch and also go in the kitchen, working hard. And after I start to open my own restaurant and cafe. So your two zeos made you work hard and train you well? Really hard, I can tell you. <laughs> <laughs> I can <laughs> really imagine. Hard. Good. Uh, start to wash dishes <laughs> and chop onion. That's what I started to do. <laughs> and, then, and then what happened? So then you started opening? Then I started to open a couple of uh, cafe, restaurant, uh, after disco, back to restaurant, back to disco. <laughs> and after I decided to move in Australia. Oh, beautiful. For a better life. Very and good. And is it a better I'm, life? I'm really proud to come here at the right time in Australia. Australia is a beautiful country. Nothing to say Italy is beautiful for holiday. <laughs> yeah, yeah. At the moment, it's not good for living. <laughs> no, that is true. That is true. That is true. And tell me about Sardinia's food and, and, and Sardinia, its produce. Sardinia actually is one of the old country. It has a lot of recipe. It's really old. Mm -hmm. Most of the recipe, it's old mm -hmm. and really simple, actually. Mm -hmm. Really, really simple. What do you That's love? The secret. What do you love cooking with in Sardinia? What are the ah, seafood. I love seafood. Yep. We have we we, we run them off sea. Yeah. So it's beautiful there. Yeah. Seafood is magnific. And 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 authentic. I'm beautiful. I can't <laughs> wait to try some. And I've also heard that your wines are really good. Yeah, the wine is special in Oristano where we're gonna go today. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes, we are. <laughs> To Alessandro Contini, it's on a beautiful cantina mm -hmm. in Oristano, actually Cabra's close to Oristano, it makes such beautiful wine. Fantastic. Beautiful. And we're going to go to Enoteca Sileno, where Martin is going to showcase some of Sardinia's beautiful wines. Welcome to this wine segment. My name is Martin Schaefer. I work in wine cells for Enoteca Sileno, a specialized importer of Italian wines and food products for over 60 years. We're talking about Sardinia today. Uh, geographically, Sardinia is a Mediterranean island between Corsica and um, Sicily to the south. And uh, when we talk about wine, it's very important that we talk about climate and soil. Um, Sardinia has got a accentuated Mediterranean climate with mild winters, very long, hot, arid summers, which are quite airy. And uh, the soil is also very important uh, in the area where those wines are planted in uh, uh, the center west of Sardinia, uh, near the town of Oristano, we have got a soil with lots of calcium and clay content as well as some granite. Calcium and clay um, absorb a lot of water and can nurture those wines in the dry long summers. And the granite is really important because it will give the wines a lovely, lively minerality. Um, now we're going to talk about those two wines. We have got the Vermentino, which is a late ripening white wine uh, grape. Uh, it's an aromatic grape variety and rarely um, oak is used. It has got a longevity for up to four years. Um, now we look at that wine, it has got some uh, a pale appearance with some lovely aromas of pear, apple, some herbs um, from the rugged forests of Oristano and some tropical fruits as well. Um, the taste, we've got um, pretty much the same fruit components as in the aroma. It has got some um, rich floral characters with a lively acidity and a persistent palate. Uh, in Sardinia, this wine is consumed pre predominantly as an aperitif 
and uh, with those lovely seafood dishes. The next one we're going to talk about is the so-called Canonao de la Sardinia, which is the synonym to uh, the ganache in from the uh, from the Rhone, and um, it was brought to Sardinia by the Spanish due to the geographical vicinity. Um, this is a lovely red wine where oak is used. Uh, it is a dry red wine. It has got an aging capa capacity of up to 10 years. Um, it is uh, fairly ruby colored and we've got some nice aroma of um, red fruit and a lot of spice. Mm, lovely red fruit, some plums, some berries and spice and some grippy tannins. Um, this is a lovely food match for uh, gamey meats and uh, especially the lamb dishes in Sardinia and also with um, the pecorino cheese which is a really tasty local Sardinian cheese. Thank you, see you next time. Wow, that was really interesting. Really good wine, huh? Very good wine from <laughs> Sardinia. <laughs> so after the break we're going to find out more about Sardinia's great produce where Stefano is going to make us fregola con frutti di mare. Thanks for staying tuned. Now Stefano is going to make his fregola with frutti di mare. So Stefano, your mum used to make this from yeah. scratch. She used to make, uh, I remember when I was in holiday, my mum asked me all the time to run this semolina. It's really hard work, it takes pretty long. And you mix just, it's really simple as well, semolina, water and saffron. Beautiful. So I'm looking forward to tasting it with your beautiful frutti di mare. For the fregola, you need 500 gram of semolina, pinch of saffron, pinch of salt, glass of water, 200 ml roughly. You have to mix it till it become a, like a grain. One is come like a grain. You have to put into a tray, low oven, 50 degree maximum until it's dry out. It can take 20 minutes, 30 minutes, depending on your oven and the semolina. While the semolina is in the oven, we start to prepare a fish stock. Fish stock, really fast for that. It's carrot, onion, celery, and tomato. Then a fish head. You can ask your supplier fish head. Usually it's no charge, <laughs> but it gives it to you the best flavor. So the fish stock, it will take around 45 minutes or cook. Then I prepare the sauce. The sauce is really important. It's most of the flavor comes from the sauce. And I use the old calamari. So I take the head for calamari, I chop it up, put in a pot, garlic, chop, fine chop it, some slice of chili. Usually for the chili, I mix with extra virgin oil maybe a couple of days before. It's much better, it's much taste, taste much more. Then we do the sofrito with the, with the garlic and chili. We put the calamari, the head chopper up inside the pot and we start to cook. Then I mix the tomato sauce and I start to cook. Slow cook, 45, one hour, Depends how much flavor you like from the calamari to take it off. While the sauce with the calamari is ready, we get a pan. We do a little sofrito of garlic and chili in extra virgin oil. So then we start to put all the ingredients. Calamari, mussel, peepees, fish of the day. Today is going to be tree valley and king prunes. When the pan is really hot, we mix all together garlic, chili with the fish. It's a nice flavor all together. Then <clears throat> we cook with white wine, calamari sauce ready.
So now we add the Libio stock, fish stock, because the calamari sauce is cooked for a long time, so it's not too much thick. Then we start to cook for a couple of minutes, three, four minutes, all right? I start with my fregola now. I always put the fregola when the pan is a little bit hot. And I start to mix with the fish stock. That's the song we like to hear. So the fregola start to get a fish stock flavor and start to be start to cook. We add the stock all the time to the fregola until cook. We're gonna cook really nice flavor of fish stock. All right, so our seafood is ready. Our fregola as well. It's coming nice and thick. Then we start to cook all together. Then, stock. Now it's gonna cook for another four or five minutes together. Then we serve in terracotta bowl. That's the way we serve in our restaurant. Throw the mussel before. Just take the plane. Kim prunes. Mm, nice flavor here. I'm hungry. Finish with a little bit of parsley, and we're done. Wow, Stefano, what an amazing recipe. Mm. I love the terracotta pots. It's really nice, huh? So what have you got for us next? Oh, we're gonna have a um, beautiful recipe, original and old, from Sardinia. It's sacarapina, it means sorbet. Mmm, beautiful. It's the whole style how to make sorbet. Nothing is better than sorbet mm. after a meal. After a meal, yeah. <laughs>